Hi everyone. Apparently Thursdays have become therapy Thursdays with Justine at your lunch break. So today I want to talk with you about uh, comparison because it's been popping up in a couple areas of my life the last couple weeks. Um, a few weeks ago I did a speaking engagement at an infertility conference and the keynote speaker got some uh, flack uh, because people said she didn't suffer enough. Um, she only had to do IVF once. Um, it wasn't that bad. She didn't really have infertility. They totally got tripped up in the comparison piece, which if you've read any of my stuff, you know, really, really frustrates me. Then it popped up for me, uh, this week at church. Actually, I met someone who lost his wife a year ago. Um, her, his wife had passed away a year prior and he wanted to th introduce himself and thank me because the week before I had shared my story, uh, at one of our classes for church. And he wanted to thank me for how I spoke about grief and how I um, can still have a relationship with God and, uh, and with Christ and that he knows that I'm angry on some days with him and I just need to talk with him about it and things like that. And so he introduced himself to me and he wanted, and he said like, I just wanted to thank you for what you said about grief. I just can't imagine that the, the grief that you must live with for like the rest of your life every day. And I was like, grief is grief. We don't need to compare it. And I told him about one of my most favorite blog posts that I wrote. It's been years ago at this point, Loss is Loss. Because um, re it reminded me of that. Like It was just like this another kind of like slap in the face of like, oh my God, why are we comparing so much? And years ago, I had a client who had lost her 17-year-old daughter in an accident. And um, in one of our sessions, she looked at me and she said, is it better that I got 17 years with my daughter? or better that you never met yours. And I took a breath and I said, what if instead we just looked at each other like mothers who lost their children? Neither one is better or worse. Both suck pretty bad. Plus, when we compare it and ask ourselves which is worse, it's disconnection. We only feel more alone in it. We must stop comparing losses. It just, it disconnects us. It doesn't work. So I don't know, it kept popping up in all of my readings and, um, and all in these two situations. And so I felt pulled to like do a little research and share it with you. So I pulled a couple quotes that I just wanted to share with you because I loved the quotes. Like obviously we've all heard the quote, like Comparison is the thief of or the death of blank. Happiness, joy, whatever, fill in the blank. I mean, who even knows who coined that quote at this point? Um, I pulled one from Ianla Vansant. Van Sant. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. I even looked it up on Google several times and I don't know if I'm saying it right. But I love her quote. Comparison is an, comparison is an act of violence against the self. Comparison is the act of violence against the self. It's an incredible quote. Then Oscar Wilde, we are all in the gutter, but some of us are looking at the stars. In other words, we're all in this together. Some of us choose to look up. We sure as hell won't get through it though if we keep looking at each other like they have it better or worse than us because we're just more alone in it. We have to stop comparing Ash Beckman in her famous TED talk that I love says hard is hard. Brene Brown says hurt is hurt. And I say loss is loss. What if you stopped comparing? What if you stopped comparing the hards and the struggles because we all got a story and we all got a hard. And when we sit across from one another and just see and hear and love one another in our struggles, and stop comparing them, we aren't so alone in it. And we can actually get through it together. I think that's all I got today. I don't know. Um, it was just like pulling on me. I Comparison. And because I obviously get completely tripped up on it. I shared that in my blog post this week. I mean, I get tripped up in comparison when it comes to book sales, making no money selling the book. Um, I get tripped up in that comparison a lot. I get tripped up in that comparison a lot when it comes to the infertility community. Um, I didn't try hard enough. I didn't spend enough money. 
Um, I chose to stop, so therefore I can't be hurt anymore. And I know that's all crap. That's my inner critic, and that's my not enoughness torturing me. And it doesn't work because I am enough, because I do matter, and so are you. And when we share our struggles and not compare them, we can remember that better. I don't know. Hopefully this hits you somewhere. If not, just send it to somebody who might need it. Have an awesome rest of the week.